Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Gattuso to check out. So they decided to give him a skill move over the weak foot, which honestly is not that big of a deal, right? It just depends on how the card is formatted everywhere else to be a CDM in your squad. Uh, player traits. This card has solid player, flare, flare, passes team player. Okay, no problem there. Uh, this card needs to be a length he's not unless you give him an anchor hmm let's see here it doesn't need to be but it just it's just de defensive capabilities right let's see Gattuso okay so the Gattuso card is lengthy on an yeah see that's what I'm saying right lengthy on an anchor Hawk marksman okay because here's the thing guys you guys know I love the Palinga card right and let me show you something, because it, it just depends on the running animation. Because look, this card is 82-83, but his running animation is what makes him good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it makes him feel faster for those key areas. So I could potentially give this card an anchor as well, and then maybe they gave him that same thing, right? Because with the pace, defense will be perfect, which is amazing. And then physical is also going to be very high too, except for jumping. So... You know, it could be. We have to try that out, right? Shooting on the card, don't care about the shooting. It's for the it's for CDM position, 4-1-2-2, 4-2-3-1. Two, 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 Stay back while attacking, that type of deal. Uh, passing the card is in a good area as a CDM, so good stuff there. Dribbling in a decent area as well as a medium-high worker to player with a 5'10 uh, height. So, yeah, some good stuff there too. Reactions is really high at 96. That's actually very interesting. Um, but, yeah, defense, going to be perfect. Physical or defense and physical are basically going to be perfect on the anchor. Um, on a shadow, I mean, technically you could give him a shadow chemistry style, but I feel like you really need the lengthy to push him, you know? You, you really do. I think for, for how this game kind of plays out in general, I think it's going to be very important. So, listen, we'll see how he plays in game. Let me go get the, hopefully, a loan card. Is there a loan card, EA? Please? Be good to me? Yes! What is this? Draft token, foot 20. Okay, perfect. So we can just do the Katusa review today and the other guys too. Um, let me go get the card. Okay, guys, so we have his loan card. Uh, I'm going to give him an anchor because, again, the main purpose of these types of cards is to be good defensive players. Um, and whether or not it's fours, fives, whatever, those defensive boosts, I feel like, are very important. And then you also, you also give him that physical boost too, pace boost, right? Some people are giving him a shadow on footman, but I don't think they can see that he's a lengthy yet, which obviously I think is going to be very important. If you're on the old gen version of the game, then obviously you probably should give him a shadow because pace is uh, pretty relevant in this game. But... Um, yeah, let's see what formations I have for this. 4-3-3? Three, three? That's perfect for it, actually. Because then I could use them. Is he on stay back, cover center? Okay, cool. We'll just do that then. So let's just switch a few things here and there. Messi and Kunku. There we go. Okay, so we'll use the 4-3-3. Three, three. Great. Let's go see what he's like. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, cool. 4-3-3. Three, three. Let's see what he's like. Okay, so he does have a free free running uh, animation. That's actually very important. He does have it. You could see that it's not like like his legs are actually moving quickly. He feels free. Uh, the thing that I noticed initially was the turnaround. Like you could tell that he has that like physical side to him. Like that. You see initial acceleration and then he picks up. Block that. Got nothing. See? As long as you work with that acceleration a little bit, you're chilling. Pass it downwards here. Is it all by him? Oh, it's all by me. Okay. No animation into that. Yeah, his movement's not bad. You can see uh, it's not like super restrictive. So that's important. So L trigger can't do much there. Good challenge, good challenge. And Alonso defending well. So you see his running animation off the ball? Perfectly fine as well. Switch here. Here's yep, transition's not bad. Turn, 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 turn. It's not bad. That was an L trigger. Gets the ball back. 
Mariko Fofana. Mbappe. He's in here. And we score the goal. Nice. Yeah, see the turn, like right there, wasn't bad to work with. Here, you could see that the, the pace is like not the craziest, right? So it would have been nice if he was a little bit higher in the pace department for those like types of opportunities. So it's more like I have to like really be well positioned with him. And then we're probably going to score here with Glitch Bappe. Oh. Nothing there, really. Collect that quick. Oh, I imagine I get that with Gattuso. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Do I have... 3, 4, 2, 1. Yeah, let's do it with this. Uh, Mendy, Messi... The team doesn't really matter, but we'll just switch this here. Messi over here. Because this is on stay back too, or is it on balance for this one? It's on balance. So that's actually better. Yeah. Okay. Let's try them out on that too. I, wanna, I just want to see something. Well done. Yeah, why not? Try it out from a distance. Yeah, so I wouldn't commit him too much. It's a free running animation, but it's not like super fast. Like you could tell that he has a lower pace for sure. I'll just make sure he's like well positioned most of the times like this. Nothing there. Yeah, turn wasn't too bad there. Pass was bad, but the tackle came off nice. And there we go. Counter attacking very much an option. They need to get bodies back. Mbappe. Messi. And still looking for space. Nothing there. See, the thing is that for situations like that, having a taller player would definitely be beneficial, right? A lot of the times it definitely is too. Take that. There's a couple of occurrences there where he still doesn't really get the reach on it because of the him being a shorter player. I wonder if giving him a shadow might be more ideal just because you kind of want him to be in the right positions at the right time anyways, and you just kind of want to work with higher acceleration for like those close control areas. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like higher acceleration to just move into the quick spaces quickly, right? Like right, right there. There you go. We get that. No striker in the game is like Mbappe, boys. I try it out. It was a dip shot, too. Dip shots are the best ones. Got to that. Nice. The challenge. Good stuff, Gattuso. No registration from the game. Just the challenge that was required. Well, still worked out for us. Yeah, I had a feeling he's gonna do that again. Well done. So the ball is rolling again. That was him too, yeah? Yeah, it was. The height part doesn't make him get the ball there. Was it a foul? Oh, it was. Good, good, good. Gattuso actually saved me right there. That was solid. 
20 minutes remaining. Mbappe. Messi. Pogba. Trying to really get up the opposition here. In search of space. Over reliance on defensive AI. Which works in this game, but you know. We'll take that. Good goal, boys. Hit it. There you go. Skill moves with the good two, so it's pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie to you. Physical? Oh, had the physical there, and then, you know, get a nice little goal, maybe. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't have like an initial animation. It's like weird. I need you to get the, a, a nice little challenge or something. You know what I'm saying, my boy? I was a little bit close. We made it work. Penalty. Penalty. Yeah, I figured you with your full meta rat team. I figured you would do that. I figured you would do that. Yep. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Gattuso card. So guys. Uh, we tried this card out on the Anchor Chemistry style as well as the Shadow Chemistry style. Uh, reason being for this is because I want to see what it's like to just run and just generally defend with this card, just moving across the pitch in like just, just general ways, right? Okay, so on an Anchor Chemistry style, you know, you give him a pace boost, you give him the defending boost, and you also give him the physical boost, right? Which... In his case, it can be a helpful thing to work with if your player is really stuck to being on that stay back while attacking in the CDM position. You know, preferably if you're playing him in this way, you'd probably have to use him in like a 4 1 2 1 2 system, that kind of deal. But from the way that this card performs in game, making him a lengthy player, it's it doesn't have as much effect as making some other CDMs a lengthy player. For instance, Palinga's card with lower pace while being a taller player working with his body type, he has a good run animation, right? Because that height is gonna add to it, right? On a Shadow Chemistry style with Gattuso, boosting the acceleration and sprint speed to work with close control areas more than anything, I think is gonna be what people work with the most. You're not really gonna feel a massive difference uh, to an anchor to give him the physical boost over you not having the pace for those close control areas. Now, in my opinion, what should have happened with this card in regards to you know being able to utilize him in the meta of the game as a card who is, let's see how much he costs as an SPC. 440K as an SBC, right? What should have happened with this card, in my opinion, is that they should have allowed you to give him a shadow chemistry style. They would sacrifice the agility of the card and make his strength uh, bigger. And then I would work with this card on a lengthy with 88 acceleration, 88 for sprint speed personally, right? Um, with this card, in my opinion, what they've done to him is they have made him a usable version of himself, right? Because honestly, these cards are all horrible, okay? Like these cards are just not super ideal. They're, you know, you give him a shadow, you give him an anchor, it doesn't really matter. It's a poorly formatted card. But take a look at this card, right? You already give him a shadow chemistry style on this with a lengthy because of the way that his strength and stuff is set up. He already has 83 acceleration, 80 for sprint speed with defensive stats. On a new card, the main variable to work with with him is the fact that he's a you know five-star skill move player, which to be fair, I would have preferred the five-star weak foot for the midfielders over the skill moves because this is a CDM, guys. The main reason to use him in your team is to defend for you, right? So um, I do feel like they could have done better with this card. Like I said, I do believe that they have made him a usable version of himself, right? Because Gattuso is honestly awful for the most part. Um, not awful, but like... He's just not like super ideal in the meta of the gameplay, but I do feel like they could have done a better job with this card um, for what you could potentially be getting in game. Like I said, if they boosted the acceleration and the sprint speed and I can make him a lengthy player, that definitely would have been really nice. But, you know, even still on a shadow chemistry style, he was still able to defend uh, in decent ways for me because he has the high defensive stats. There's 
two or three situations where he honestly saved me. Like that one situation where if it wasn't a free kick from the corner kick, that would have been a really shaky situation. But like I said, I personally feel like they could have done better with this card, um, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.